Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 13th going into Sunday the 14th of June 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot because I haven't used it enough this week. <laughs> Can't stop playing with this deck, friends. It's absolutely gorgeous. OK, well, <clears throat> let's see what the weekend holds in store for you. <clears throat> Here we go. you. What is the message from Spirit for, oh it is you, thank you, for my wonderful friends. There we go. <clears throat> okay, your cards are, oh, Major Arcana, Number 14, Temperance, followed by the Four of Wands making another return. Wow. OK. Oh, and then we get the Seven of Cups. OK. <clears throat> Your first card is Major Arcana, number 14, Temperance. Um, major arcanas, they speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. The word moderation is the, is the first thing that is coming to my mind as I am uh, looking at this illustration. Um, here we see the, the character um, having the illusion here that they are growing wings. So this is rising in spirituality, uh, has the moon on one side and the sun on the other, divine feminine and uh, divine masculine energy. Um, this is about the balance of these two energies. Um, and you, this is, again, I'm hearing more of uh, the middle way. This is you finding that level. This is you, you've had your spirit level out. You've had your... Um, earthly level out if you like um, and you have leveled out and you've found this wonderful middle path this wonderful middle way um, so that even if there is any any conflict or, or any chaos or anything that's trying to um, upset you give you a wobble pull you from your path um, you're still staying in the middle, I'm hearing. You're really quite grounded. Instead of having big, huge pendulum swings like you used to, uh, no, you're really level, level, spirit level, uh, level-minded, I'm hearing as well, I'm being told. You're, you're staying level-minded, you're staying grounded. <clears throat> of course, one and four does add, add up to the number five, the number of conflict, crisis, chaos, challenge struggle but also the number of transformation and change and i'm loving that you have grown wings my friends um or actually i'm going to change that what i am loving is that we can actually see your wings uh, they've always been there but we just couldn't see them but now now you are in this wonderful place of harmony of balance of um you know, you've made cooperations, you've been compromising, you've been doing things in moderation. Um, and this has restored harmony, it's restored um, your equilibrium. Um, and these wings are really calling me. This is a wonderful spiritual transformation taking place within you, my wonderful friends. <clears throat> And this is what we get to see in the physical from being more 
uh, in the energy of temperance. Uh, for me, temperance asks you to um, uh, asks you to balance out your heart. Like for me, justice asks you to balance the mind. Uh, for me, temperance is asking you to balance your heart, and this is where you are leading from your heart now, um, and you, you realise the real importance of that, my friends. Um, and so now we get to see you in the physical. Having put all of this spiritual transformation in place, oh wow, you get the four of wands to show um, what's taking place on the inside, showing up on the outside. Four, structure, security, stability, foundation in the physical, in the material world. Wow, this is you being able to, it, it's freedom. It's the freedom to express yourself in, in whichever way you want to. It's like a creative expression. Ones, it's fire energy, it's, uh, it's passions, it's dreams, it's goals, it's um, visions. It's all, all of those desires that you want for yourself. Uh, you know now that it is attainable, that everything is possible because you have found this wonderful place of balance of harmony this middle ground this oh it's beautiful it's like a beautiful way uh, that you have discovered uh, a, a beautiful way to be ah I am hearing a beautiful way to be is that you have discovered and it and oh all of this that's taken place and transformed on the inside it's shining and showing on the outside four of wands celebration this could be um maybe you are able to uh, get together with friends and family um maybe uh there was um parties or maybe weddings christenings things that had been uh postponed and that now you are able to um actually get in the um thick of of this uh of of a celebration of sorts for whatever that would mean for you um <clears throat> but i'm certainly seeing it this weekend my friends beauty there's a beautiful weekend ahead um you have this beautiful way that you have found now leading from your heart spilling out into your reality um a real cause for celebration but this is the structure that you are building for yourself in the in the physical my friends because you have really done the inner work wow 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 so next we have the seven of cups and i feel spirit is saying i mean sometimes this card can be like <clears throat> wishful thinking cups it's um water energy it's uh, emotions and feelings um However, I really want to say with this illustration, we get to see a couple of ladders. Um, there's a, a dragon wing. There is a serpent here. Um, there's an opportunity. Spirit is saying an opportunity for you to ascend or you can go back down. It's like a snakes and ladders. Um, but I'm really seeing you here. Look at the one you are choosing. The cup that you are really focused on has a ladder. Um, you are on the path of ascension. And it's because you are making these life choices based on how you feel in your heart. This middle way that you found, this beautiful way that you have found now. Um, you're not making choices based on other people's thoughts other people's advice you're not making choices based on overthinking you're making choices based on does it feel good is it a loving thought here we go again thank you spirit is it a loving thought is it a loving feeling therefore will it be a loving action if i carry carry <clears throat> carry out the thought and feeling I'm looking here with I mean you've got the water here in front of you it's flowing so uh, this is this flow of the temperance card that I am um, sensing and feeling but if we look in the background you have this big vast ocean um, but it's quite still um, it's not kind of a turbulent water so there's no turbulence here with this card with this seven of cups I'm feeling um, it's you you get to make a choice. I'm seeing you choosing 
the higher path, the path of ascension. Wow, wow, wow. Um, you have free will. Free will to choose. Um, and you're choosing moderation. You're choosing cooperation. You are choosing compromise. You are being more, more tactful now, I am hearing. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Next we will have The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Cigar. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to have to pop you on to pause a moment. OK, I'm sorry about that, friends. I'm having to, um, obviously, during our, our retreat, um, having to uh, have uh, certain things delivered uh, instead of being able to just go and purchase them. OK, so I had to answer the door. Right, here we go. And your secret language of colour card is... Oh, wow! Blue, 37, activate your healing power coming under this wonderful um, temperance card okay of course temperance it's um, Sagittarius it's that fire energy but you know you've you've learned to temper the flame you you are in control now <laughs> of your own flame uh, and you don't get so um, fired up I am hearing it you, you you know you've tempered that flame Ooh. <laughs> okay so you get blue. Blue activates healing powers, increases vitality and has a calming effect when people feel nervous, manic or overexcited. It also contains antiseptic qualities that heal burns, stop bleeding and relieve fevers. Blue can even increase your metabolism. Use the blue sword of light to assist you in your in healing your body. Imagine you have a blue sword of light. At the tip of the sword there is a blue star which has incredible healing power. When the star touches any area that is sick, it dissolves the sickness out of your body. Use the blue sword of light to relieve fever, fevers, stop bleeding, heal burns and clear skin problems. Say, Divine Sword of Light, heal, purify and regenerate this area and repeat this statement several times for about two minutes until you feel better. Oh, and of course three and seven adding up to the wonderful number ten. So this is an opportunity, my friends, um, again, ending cycles and beginning of a new cycle. This is a brand new you um, and I'm loving it because we get to see your wings uh, and you, I'm, I'm really seeing you choosing the higher path. Oh, it is cause for celebration. This is my friends for sure. OK. Next, we will have our uh, Mystical Shaman Oracle deck by these three. <laughs> and this is the deck that our wonderful friend Leticia sent us a donation so that we could purchase. Or I could purchase a deck that was calling to me and it was this one. OK, here we go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and you get number 10, the corn. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provides stability oh, oh, and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. You planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments when you were losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honour this and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust. 
whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity, you are so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. Beware of shortcuts to your dreams or a fast track being offered to you now. And be especially mindful of your feelings of entitlement or an expectation to get something for nothing. This is a time for gratitude, perseverance and humility. Be prepared to work towards your goals and plant the seeds of your intentions consciously and respectfully. Release any insecure thoughts of scarcity feeling that there is not enough, or worry that someone else could take what is yours. Know that the universe will always provide, but you must be in a relationship with it in order to receive. You will reap what you sow. Take heart, even if you didn't plant well and have conjured up the illusion of a drought, there is always a new season to begin again. Oh, you get the chance to conjure up something new, my friends. And I'm really seeing you. This is you, you are consciously participating in your own creation because you are coming from your heart. You are leading from the heart. This is the true healing that has taken place. As I really look at this illustration of blue, I'm, it's like this is the light that is now it's shining from sorry i'll hold the card right for you that is shining from you this is you and your connection with the divine shining with brilliance out into the world oh wow 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 okay oracle of the unicorns cordelia francesca brabs whom i lovingly call my trusty steeds Let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit? For my wonderful friends. Thank you, Ruby. There we go. And your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is. <laughs> She's in, in agreement with this first card. And actually, is, uh, I kind of want to do that as we look at the colours of, of the uh, blue and uh, the green. Oh, wow. OK. Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities and stay true to your path as a healer. Oh, so maybe this is the new choice for some of you. Maybe some of you really are going to go into healing practices, which is wonderful. <clears throat> Let's see what the message is from Ruby. She says you are a gifted healer with powerful psychic or intuitive abilities. This card has come into your reading to encourage you to deepen your self-healing journey or to develop your gifts and take them to an even higher level. Wow! It hasn't always felt safe to be magical and powerful. Your physical body and aspects of your soul hold many memories of being persecuted in past lives or of abusing your powers in Atlantis. These are examples of how influences from previous incarnations may cause you to doubt your gifts or shrink from your own abilities. You may find it hard to talk about what you do or to own your brilliance. You may struggle to put value on your services or charge for your gifts. This magical unicorn encourages you to trust yourself, stay true to your beliefs and your divine purpose. 
the magic you hold can make a great difference in the world when you trust yourself to use it for the greater good. Believe in yourself and your healing abilities. Go out there, shine your light and let your heart guide you to become the magnificent healer you came here to be. Oh, and of course seven is the most spiritual, magical number we have. So I love that Ruby has chosen the healer card to come underneath this seven of cups. Oh, friends. Oh, the choices that you are making now, consciously choosing, uh, leading with your heart, uh, you and the divine shining out there with brilliance. And you are definitely, uh, this is a new pathway that has opened up for you. And it's uh, ascension. I'm really seeing it now, my friends. It is ascension. Oh, OK. I did an affirmation, so we'll see. And I wrote. When all around me is chaotic, I choose to centre and be still. For I know if I do not participate, I will be following my own free will so you'll be following your own free will this weekend my friends uh not participating in anyone else's conflict crisis or chaos but no consciously choosing your own path that's the great healing that's why this ocean in the background is just nice and still my friends wow 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 what a beautiful beautiful message for you for this weekend i truly hope it is a magical one for you well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful kindred spirits may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until Monday, my friends, goodbye.